All right, so I'm going to do some hot water seed scarification here. And I thought I'd just make a quick video about it. This is Woad. And the friend who gave me the seed uh, labeled this as uh, Isatis indigotica. And if you look that up, most of the sources that I can find are saying that's synonymous with uh, Isatis, um, Isatis tinctoria, which is um, just the common woad, which is a dye plant, and it's also it's a medicinal in in Chinese traditional medicine. Anyway, whether or not it's Isatis tinctoria, or if it is Isatis indicatica, doesn't really matter. But she, she suggested a hot water soak. And so the protocol that I'm using is one I got off the internet at F.W. Schumacher, which is a really nice uh, seed source for especially tree and perennial seeds that are really hard to find in most other places. And they recommend putting four times the volume of seed of what they say almost boiling water and then um, allowing the seed to cool in that water and soak for 12 to 24 hours. So you can see we've got basically this is about 200 seeds. Um, each of these is a so woad is a, is a brassica and so it has individual the seeds are contained inside these pods, these siliques, but there's a single seed in each side one of these. So each silique has got one woad seed in it. So that's like a heaping tablespoon. And put that in the jelly jar here. And then this water is currently at, well, according to my not terribly accurate meat thermometer, let me see. That's uh, at approximately 170 degrees, which I think is a nice, comfortable temperature for this purpose. So we're going to put four, approximately four tablespoons of this hot water. And that seed. And just... Leave it till tomorrow, and then we'll plant them out. And if I don't get good germ on this, I will direct seed the rest of the seed that I was given. So, um... So yeah, that's the protocol. Um, it's really simple. Uh, F.W. Schumacher says not to use boiling water, but they call it almost boiling water. So that was water that had been boiling, you know, two or three minutes before um, I poured it onto the seed. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to put a lid on that and we'll see how they germ. This is not a process you would ever use for any vegetable seed, but there's a lot of... Uh, herbs and flowers and perennial seeds that have uh, germination inhibition systems and hard seed coats, things like that, um, that require this kind of hoop jumping. Okay, hopefully that was useful and thanks a lot for watching.